Hey, Nicole here. All right, so I've got your weekend forecast. We have got a super full moon this weekend. Uh, the moon, a super full moon, that means that our moon is orbiting closest to the Earth. It's also known as a perigee moon. Uh, now, this is when on Saturday afternoon we have our Virgo sun uh, being opposed by a Pisces moon. That Pisces moon will move into position. They oppose one another. Voila, full moon. Yay! Okay, and it's going to be really beautiful that evening because the full moon will be uh, quite bright in our sky because, as I said, uh, it's a perigee moon, so it's close to the Earth, um, and so it will look big and really fantastic. Now, astrologically, let's talk about the sun and moon. We've got uh, this Pisces full moon, and it's opposite of Virgo sun. This is the axis of service. This is the axis of compassion. Uh, Pisces is this sort of otherworldly, Christ-like energy, self-sacrifice, um, it rules everything that has to do with sort of the world of imagination. It's anything that's not earthly. The Virgo side has to do with very much earthly duties, being dutiful, uh, self-sacrifice also, but in sort of these day-to-day -day, uh, earthly ways that we do. Um, you combine these two energies together, whether you see them in a birth chart or an event chart or a relationship chart, and you see themes of compassion, self-sacrifice, selflessness, uh, etc. So there's a sweetness and a softness to this full moon. Now, also astrologically, we have a Jupiter. We, we have Jupiter conjunct the moon. So Jupiter is the planet of expansion. It makes things bigger and it makes you cause it causes you to feel things more strongly okay um, especially when we combine the moon the moon is the planet that rules emotion so the transiting moon is going to tell us about how we are feeling it's going to give a sense of of mood okay the moon moves quickly it's our satellite so it's moving through our sky um, every uh, a couple of hours, it moves about a degree through the chart, so it's moving quickly. So the, the, the effects of the moon are pretty transitory. That's why we call them moods. It's a moodiness. Uh, and, you know, the moon, of course, is always in flux and always changing. That's why it's, it's associated with the female, because of the female cycle, and women are always changing, right? Um, so with this, those of you who are have your sun, your moon, or your rising sign in the mutable signs, which would be Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, or Pisces. You guys are going to feel this moon especially uh, poignantly, okay? Because it's going to either conjunct your sun, moon, or rising, oppose your sun, moon, or rising, or square your sun, moon, or rising. So they're all a little bit different in t as far as how they affect you. Um, but overall, there, there may be this Piscean sense of fuzziness and vagueness and kind of like you might play out like you just don't, sort of don't know what to do with your Saturday or it can even be a laziness or it can even be sort of a, a, a disassociation from your body or a desire to meditate, a desire to tap into the spiritual. Um, you might have kind of all these energies happening at once, um, you know, combining the wateriness of the moon and the depths and the emotion of the moon with Pisces, which is Neptunian, that is the ocean, that's the vastness of the ocean. Um, emotionally, it can kind of feel overwhelming with Jupiter thrown in the mix. You might just kind of not know what to do with yourself. Um, you may have a desire to escape, therefore. You may, some people might choose spiritually to go meditate. Some people might go for a walk in the woods. Some people might decide to drink like half a bottle of whiskey. You know, it just depends on the person. Um, now, Obviously, the whiskey would be like shadow side. That's not your best use of this energy. Um, but a good use of the energy were the other things I mentioned. Also, sacred sexuality, merging with a partner, serving someone this weekend, some sort of compassionate act. Um, it, depending on where it falls in your chart, you know, it could be anything from doing something compassionate for yourself if it's in the first house to uh, helping a neighbor move to writing a letter to someone if it's in your third house. It you know, just sort of depends, or writing poetry. It's also a great, music for or great weekend for listening to music because uh, Pisces and Neptune uh, rule music. So escaping through music is not a bad use of the weekend. Uh, but overall, it should be a pretty, um, pretty sweet, soft energy. You might feel, like I said, a little fuzzy and vague around, a little fuzzy around the edges and a little vague about what to do with your weekend. Um, but it'll pass because it's the moon and just like a woman, constantly changing. So one day it's here, the next day is somewhere else. So anyway, enjoy your weekend, and if you have questions, inbox me. And if you'd like a birth chart reading, if you want to know where this falls in your chart, uh, let me know, and I'd be happy to help you. Okay, bye-bye.